Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to deploy eGBCA in Kubernetes using a Helm chart. The Helm chart that I'm going to be using is the Key Factor Community Helm chart, which is available on GitHub. It's a pretty simple Helm chart, but it can be useful for very quickly getting up and running with eGBCA. And I will start here by going to the Getting Started section and copy the Add Repo command. This will add this uh, repository as a Helm chart uh, uh, repo. And in order to do so, I first need to install some tools here. I'm running on Arch Linux, so I will install using pacman minus s. And the Kubernetes cluster that I will be using is a minikube, so I will install minikube, kubectl, which is the tool for managing Kubernetes and Helm, which is the Kubernetes package manager. All right, with those installed, I will start my minikube. And uh, minikube can deploy on uh, various drivers. And here, because I already have KVM installed, it was uh, able to identify and use this driver. So right now it's starting up a KVM virtual machine to run the Kubernetes cluster in. Now I have a running Minikube cluster and I will paste in the command that I copied, which is helm repo add and I would name this repository key factor and then pointing to the URL where this uh, rep repo index file is located. And now I can just deploy eGBCA by running helm install, I'll name my installation eGBCA and then say to install from the key factor repo the eGBCA community helm chart. And here I'm not deploying using any namespace because this is my only deployment, but uh, it can be useful to specify a namespace as well if you have many different uh, installations in your Kubernetes cluster. I'll now run kubectl get pods and watch this just to see when this is done deploying. There we go. So now in order to access eGBCA, I can find the service that it's exposing it under by running minikube service and get the URL for all deployments. And the default configurations for this Helm chart will expose a node port service. So that means it's just opening a port to the deployment on the virtual machine that I deployed. And I can paste in this first URL here. I'm using the 30080 port, which is the non-HTTPS port. And that gives me the eGBCA um, public website. And I can then click on the administration link which uh, takes me to an HTTPS URL. And um, because this is an untrusted CA that has assigned this uh, server certificate, I will have to accept the risks and continue. And here I am in the eGPCI admin web. So that's a very quick way to get uh, started. Now I'm going to improve this deployment and make it a little bit more production ready. So for example, right now it's deploying using an ephemeral database. So any configurations that I do here would not persist after I shut down this instance. In order to get persistence, <clears throat> you want to connect your eGBCA to some external database. And for this, I will deploy a database in my Kubernetes cluster and I will use a popular uh, option there, which is to use a Bitmami Helm chart and their MariaDB uh, chart. So I will add another repo with Helm repo add and uh, Bitnami and point this to charts.bitnami.com slash Bitnami. 
I'm then going to customize their standard MariaDB deployment. And in order to do that, I will run Helm show values. And the values of the Mary, Bitnami MariaDB Helm chart. I'll put that into a config file. I'll call that MariaDB.yaml. And that gives me the values that are used to configure this uh, Helm deployment. And in here, I will search for the auth section. And I will give the database that it will create the name of EGBCADB. And I will also set a username, EGBCA, and password, EGBCA, so I know how to authenticate to this database. I'll then install this by running helm install MariaDB. That's the name of my deployment. The bitnami slash MariaDB chart. And then specify to use the values from my MariaDB.yaml file. So now, while the database is starting up, I will do some of the same uh, process to customize my EGBCA deployment. So Helm show values key factor slash EGBCA community Helm and output that into a file called EGBCA.yaml and I can then customize my EGBCA deployment here. Let's start by disabling here the use ephemeral h2 database, setting that to false. And then to say to use this database that I've deployed, I will go to the environment variable section here and add some values here. To say to use a external database, you add a database JDBC URL. And in order to point it to my MariaDB deployment, uh, the URL is uh, JDBC MariaDB, and then the name of the deployment, which is MariaDB. It's running on port 3306. And the name of my database that I specified was EGBCADB. And I will also specify here to use character encoding. UTF-8. I'll also need to add environment variables specifying the database user and password. So same deal here. I add a new line, database user, and I set that to EGBCA. And then database password was also EGBCA. So if I deploy this now, it uh, will connect to this database here using these credentials. So I'll save that file. And I can check the status of the RDB deployment and see that, yes, it's up and running. So now, in order to apply the new config on my existing deployment, I can run Helm upgrade EGBCA. I need to specify the Helm chart, which is key factor slash EGBCA community Helm. And this time I'll specify to use the values from EGBCA.yaml file. And again, to track the status of this deployment, I will run kubectl get pods minus w. And what it's doing right now is that it's uh, starting up this uh, new deployment with different configurations. And only once this is uh, done and ready, it will shut down the old deployment and point the uh, uh, service that I used to access this, this deployment previously to instead go to my second one. Okay, so it was done deploying the new deployment and it's now terminating the old one. So if I go back to my browser here and refresh this page, it will have regenerated a new server TLS search since it's a new container starting. So I will once again have to go to advanced, accept the risks and continue. 
and I now have a persistent installation using a external database. So I can make any kind of changes in here and it will be saved in that database. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial and please watch our other tutorials to get some help and hints on what to do with your new brand new EGPCA deployment.